Hello and welcome to the Creaky Kudus on a monk and today we are doing a video on Crusader Kings 3. Now as many of you know we have been waiting, at least the console players have been awaiting Royal Court for a very long time now. We finally had the big DLC and the free update drop and unfortunately many players have experienced a lot of issues. Several players reporting huge crashing. I've had it in the comments within my videos. I've had it mentioned within my Discord as well. It's all over the forums and of course the CK3 official Discord too. So this is quite a widespread issue. Today we have had a, another update and another patch to try and fix the issues that occurred with this latest DLC. Unfortunately, it doesn't fix everything. I'm here to tell you exactly what this patch is, what it does for you, and what we have to look forward to. And of course, if CK3 content for the console interests you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I have you covered. We have over 50 videos on the channel all dedicated to you console players and we're going to continue to release in more um, ck3 content pretty soon as well now this was quite a small update that they released and they do start off the patch notes by explaining that they did release this much awaited royal court expansion there were issues they are fully aware that there are issues and they're working at their absolute best to try and resolve these issues and to make the game playable again for many of you players. Now, just a warning, the patch notes are rather small, but we are going to go over a couple of them here. Now, they have fixed an issue where you are unable to hold court due to hidden events occurring. They also fix an issue during the tutorial um, where the actual court window would get stuck when you were trying to view the artifacts. And everything else that was fixed is rather small. There are eight points in total. Unfortunately, they do actually go on record saying that this patch does not solve the crashing issue, which was the main frustration for a lot of players. Um, that's a real shame. They do seem perfectly aware of the issue, however. So hopefully, given a little bit of time, um, the devs can actually work together fix the problem and we can get back to enjoying what is otherwise an amazing game i think for now the small silver lining that we can take from this is that we know this patch doesn't solve the issues they are fully aware of that and they've gone on record to apologize for that fact as well I think that it absolutely sucks that we had to wait so long for this DLC to come out and of course it comes out broken. Personally, I've had no issues, but I do know there's a lot of people, um, a lot of viewers that have had these issues. So it is a real shame. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. And of course, if there is any CK3 news um, relating to this and some fixes, I'll be the first to try and get that information along to you. As always, I will link the patch notes um, down in the description if you want to take a deeper look at them. And just a friendly reminder, we do actually have our own Discord for the Critically Kudos. If you want to jump in and share your gaming experience, feel free to do so. The link for that is also down in the descriptions. Let me know in the comments what issues you've had with this latest DLC, if you've decided to go ahead and buy it, if it's working fine for you, or if you've just had issues with the free update the game actually came with. I'd be very interested to know just how many games got bugged out because of this. But that's all I've got for you in this video. Just a short one to let you know what that patch, what that little update was about. Until next time, I've been a monk, you've been a Chrissy Kudos, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Until then, take it easy and happy gaming.